Hey y'all, as you know, I recently got a Morelli 48 inch ceiling fan and also as you might know, the plates on it are not original so I had two options to go forward which is either to get uh, original plates to hunt them basically on antique stores etc or make a set of plates myself and that's what I have decided to do Here I have my AutoCAD program and yesterday I've been busy working on this plate set here. Uh, I got references from the internet from pictures of actual Marelli uh, ceiling fans. Oops. <laughs> I took rough estimates of the size and on this picture here I used the tiles here as a size reference and for that reference, uh, from that references, I made this fan blade here. And I also got in contact with a Morelli fan enthusiast from Vietnam, uh, shout out to Dan Nguyen, which uh, told me the actual dimensions of uh, the original blade which I have uh, made right here. This plate here turned out to be a little bit too wide and this plate here is about the exact size. As you can see here. Not sure if you can see it well, but the plates here are too wide. And on this one, it, it is just right. Also, while we're here, I'm going to show you this. Um, I've been brainstorming on a five plate ceiling fan project and these are the concepts for the plates. Let me know which one do you think looks best from these five designs here. And also this is the design for my uh, Artner, what was it? Phantomatic. This here is the label for the fan itself. I have two concepts and I have decided on this one. Anyways, we're rambling right now. So in this video, I'm going to print out this design um, and transfer the paper onto a sheet of carton, cut it out and test fit it on the actual fan itself to see if the proportion is right. We're actually going to test out two designs today because Dan Nguyen has generously traced out an original Morelli fan blade, a different one from what I have designed with this unsymmetrical uh, root part of the blade. And he has sent me the file, the tracings of the blade and in which I have put it on this. Let me open the file real quick, Morelli blade here. This blue outline here that's drawn by hand is from Dan Nguyen. Thank you very much again. And this is my own design. So let's print it out and test it on the fan itself. So here I have the designs already printed out. As you can see, they resemble curved tip ceiling fan blades. And another reference that I used while making uh, this design here is this. This is the plate for my Crispo 48 inch industrial ceiling fan. And if we gauge up, if you place this plate on this template here, you can see that the size is pretty similar. Turn it on this one. Yeah, uh, both these templates make blades that are larger than uh, this fan here. That is logical because the diameter of the motor on the Morelli is smaller than the diameter of the motor on this fan. Plus, uh, these blades are for a fan that is like, I don't know, 80 years older than this one. So it is logical that the size is bigger. So to not waste your time, I'm going to cut this design off camera, place them on the carton and meet you there. All right, as you can see, I have glued the template on this sheet of carton here. 
And instead of using scissors to cut it out, I'm trying out this new thing I just bought. This thing is actually for cutting sheet metal. And I thought, well, if it's good for cutting sheet metal, it should be good for cutting carton, right? Well, let's see. All right, so you can see it? Okay. Let's go. It doesn't really cut that well in a straight line, but if you steer it correctly, it works. It works all right. All right. <laughs> Okay, let's go all the way full. That was easy. All right. Um, the edge here is not particularly clean, so I'm going to tidy it up with scissors. Yes, it's a, it's double the job, but well, as you saw, it cut this edge right here pretty quickly. All right, I finished cutting both of the blade designs. And right now I'm installing this blade design on the fan. This design is the original blade design, uh, the traced out one that Dan Nguyen gave to me. As you can see, this part here is unsymmetrical and yes, it is original. What's not original is the blade arm. Um, the pattern on the screws or rivets should have been reversed so there should be two rivets right here and only one up here but i don't think it matters for now because <laughs> all i want for this fan now is to have an operational fan with a somewhat original looking fan blade as you can see here this fan blade already looks pretty nice and uh i cut out both of the designs because I want to uh, see for myself which blade actually looks better on this motor here even though this blade here is original and that one is uh, made with AutoCAD so it's not perfectly original so again this is the uh, original blade design that Dan Nguyen gave to me and now let's test this blade and see how it looks and here's the second design as you can see oh exposure <laughs> these edges here are still sharp um if i end up, end up using this design here i'm going to uh, give the uh, smooth uh, edges on these plates with sandpaper and not worry about uh, rounding over these edges on the templates um i'm actually not sure which uh which design to make um what i know for sure is that this design here is a lot easier to build because this area here uh, my camera isn't focusing right well um this area here is more symmetrical and uh there are no like extreme angles whereas on this plate here this uh part here will be uh, pretty difficult to cut because of the uh, curve that is located right here this edge is going to be pretty hard to cut with both uh, the mega scissor or with the tool that I showed you earlier so yeah um, those are the uh, two design alternatives that I have um, you know I think you should comment down below uh, which one do you think I should uh, put on this fan here which one I should make the design I built on AutoCAD or the one that is original um, for now I'm leaning towards this one again because it is easier to make but let me know what you think uh, for now thank you for watching and as always take care